Well, I was hoping to do a bit better demonstration than this one. Anyway, someone, thank you very much, has kindly sent me a book that's come today. Don't know who it is, but thank you very much. Oh, the most incredible YouTube videos ever. And I've looked inside. I haven't looked through every page. I've looked most pages and I can't find mine. No, I'm joking. Thanks a lot. Right. Um, but we're talking about engines. And that's why I call this back to basics. Because an engine is basically a heat converter. Now this is the remains of one of them little uh, compressors. Which are just the same thing. Just to show you. And so... You burn something, no matter what it is, in a cylinder, and it burns and expands and pushes the piston down. And I'm sorry, but that's about the best demo we can get. Right? So you burn something in a cylinder and it forces that down and twists it round. And if you can see there, see? It, and that's the called the connecting rod that bit and it converts linear or up and down motion into circular motion with the crankshaft there it's all very, as I said that's why we're calling this back to basics it's back to very basics but it's something that's overlooked often so I'm doing my best <laughs> I'm sorry it's not very good is it today anyway um, We'll just get rid of that. And again, because this is back to very basics, right? Back to the very, very basics. We put in a tiny drop of petrol on a bit of rag here. Right? Can I see it? I think so. Yeah, there you are. Alright, and as I said, this is the very, very, the simplest I can think of. Right? So if this pep. There we are. Put that on there. So what you do, it has some heat. The petrol is flammable. Well, it usually is. So. I waited until it was nearly dark. There they are, look. Just to show you that petrol is flammable, you see. And I've only got a tiny bit on there. So it won't burn for very long. But it's, uh, it's just an excuse to make a bit impressive video nearly dark, isn't it? That's all. So we'll just let that burn out. But like I said, this is why I'm calling it back to the very basics. Now an engine, like mine in the shed, there, is actually a heat converter. That's all it does. It converts heat to mechanical energy. Now that engine there is possibly, I would think, only 25% efficient or 20% I should say. Petrol engines, well they've got them a bit better today but internal combustion engines uh, were only normally about 25% efficient which means that for every four gallons of petrol that you put in one of them is used to drive machinery or the cars or whatever it is. The other three are wasted. And uh, from memory I think that you lose something like 25% through mechanical efficiencies, which means um, friction, you know, from the bearings and that. The other is uh, the mass of moving parts, because uh, to move something takes energy. That's how it's measured. Horsepower is measured in foot pounds, of course. And so. Um, your engine's got moving parts, that's more inefficiencies, right? And like I said, I would imagine that that 
engine there is probably only 20% efficient. So for every five gallons of petrol you put in, four of them are wasted. And a lot of it is wasted through the exhaust. And again from memory, I think it's something like 75%, it's an awful lot anyway. But as I say, well, I could I could look this up, it's all up, up, you can look it up and you can correct me, I don't mind in the slightest. Anyway, I just thought as an excuse <laughs> for a video to show the book and say thank for the book. So while we're out here, we'll do something else. Well, well, we'll try, well, I said we will do something, we'll try. Let's see. I've been playing. That's why I'm doing the video. I've been playing. Yeah. Well, it still starts well, look. Something. Hey. Another say, I was hoping to do a bit better demonstration than this. Uh, what I wanted to do was put a piece of wood on the end and then press on it so you could see it get hot. That was what I was hoping to do but I can't. At the minute it's not actually working right. To the end, and uh, I had a piece of wood. I can't find. So, as much as I can, as much as I can, uh, I put this video back to basics, but it should be called KISS, shouldn't it? Keep it simple. And that's what I've been trying to do. And I hope you enjoyed this short little video. I know a few of you like these engine stories, so... Uh, I am supposed to be getting a couple of small engines fairly soon, or well, sometime. And when I do, we can have a play with them. And I'll try and come up with something uh, for power or something. I don't know what it would be. I mean, very, very simple. Um, probably slide a few bricks on a bit of string. To see how many bricks it'll pull. Not with this engine, this is with the other one. And then we'll do a bit of mild tuning on it and see if it pulls it a bit stronger. As I said, it's, uh, that's the simplest way I can think of doing it. But there's obviously a lot better way. Lots of better. Full engine drain. But that's the simplest way I can think of. Anyway, <laughs> it's something, innit? And I know you like engines. And I know you like the basic principles, so there we go.